On the right side, we need three tools. Click and drag the View Rotation Gizmo to rotate the view. Click and drag the magnifying glass to zoom in and out. Click and drag the hand to pan the view. On the left side, we need three tools. The most important tool is the Add Cube tool. Click and drag where you want your cube to go. Stop dragging and move the mouse to size the cube. Click to create it. Moving up, the Transform tool lets us position and shape our objects. Click and hold the Scale tool to access the Scale Cage tool. Click and drag these dots to scale your objects. Finally, you can right-click an object and click Delete to delete it. Let's make a living room diorama. I'm going to start with a couch. I'll add a cube for the bottom of the couch first. Next, I want a back for the couch. Finally, I'm making two armrests. Okay, couch complete. I need the floor for this diorama. I size the cube downward to keep the couch flush with the ground. A floor lamp will be nice, so I'm going to access the Add Cylinder tool by clicking and holding the Add Cube tool button and choosing it in the drop-down menu. It works exactly like the Add Cube tool, but it makes cylinders. This will make a nice base. Next, the pole. Finally, the lampshade. I've made it on the ground for ease of alignment. Now I'll just use the Transform tool to position it nicely. Okay, that's a floor lamp. I want two back walls for the diorama. I'm switching back to the Add Cube tool. Make the back wall. I'm going to use a trick here. Right click copy. Right click paste. Now I can use the scale cage to position the wall while keeping the height exactly the same for both. Okay, the walls are built. The last piece I want for this scene is an entertainment center and a TV. First I'm making the bottom part. To add some minor detail, I'll add two doors with the copy and paste trick from before. Now I want the TV stand base and the base arm. I'll build the TV on the floor. And I'll adjust it into place with the Transform tool. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's it for a simple room. If you like the isometric look, you can click this perspective button here. Thank you for watching this video.